This is just such a cool magic trick, okay? It's easy to do. It's undeniable. Looks great. It's really visual. It's very audible or aural or hearable or somebody. Grab a thesaurus. Help Jay Sankey. Use a borrowed object too, okay? Two hands, borrowed object in this case is a quarter. Along with a quarter, I'm also going to use, I have a clip here. It's actually a, I guess you could call it a, a bulldog clip or something. If I take the coin and I just put it about, I'm going to put it about, about in the middle. Is it about in the middle? About in the middle there, about in the middle. Now look, along with the clip, the borrowed quarter, my two hands, I'm also going to use, there we go. It is a lighter in a glass. Now what's cool, you're very fair here. You're just gonna heat up, heat up the coin, a little bit, just the edges here. Heat up that quarter, heat up that 25 cents. And then people see the 25 cents morph. The moment it hit the glass, okay? The moment it hit the glass, they can examine the clip. They can examine the lighter. They can examine your hands. They can examine the glass. It's still 25 cents, but the heat and the shock of the warm coin hitting the bottom of the glass was enough to crack it, to shatter it from a quarter into 10 cents, 20 cents, and a nickel makes a total 25 cents. Now that is real magic. So I just fooled a whole bunch of you and the others that I didn't fool, I want you to definitely watch the video because this, even if you're an experienced magician, even if you understand where the switch happened and how it's happened, I'm going to be sharing and taking a look at some of the psychology of the switching, the spheres of focus and why this works so well and why this particular principle here can be adapted in many ways. I'm going to share the secrets in just a second, but first I want to ask the question of the week. It has been a while, my friends. Thank you for even showing up anymore to the Jay Sankey's, what is it, a bizarre, I want to say a loquacious world of magic, but I'm not sure what the word loquacious means. And don't bug me, don't leave a comment down below and tell me, okay? So the question of the week is this, and I'm going to be giving away, what are we going to give away? Um, let us give, since it involves a little bit of fire, one of my all-time probably best-selling projects from the SankeyMagic.com site, he did say it, is a spontaneous combustion. It is a cool com collection of magic tricks, all, involve, involve, all, involve, all involving fire in some way. So your chance to win this project, okay? I'm going to give away 12 of them. This is your chance. Leave a comment down below and just tell me if you could change the quarter. It's in the clip here. If you could wave this and change this quarter into anything in the universe, what would it be? What would appear in the clip? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. And uh, I will then, um, you'll have a chance to win one of 12. Okay? Okay? Hopefully that sounds fair enough. Now let's dive into the method here. This is very cool. Uh, you're going to need a quarter. Now, uh, I used in this a Canadian dime and this and that. Maybe you saw that. This principle can work with any coins in the world. All right? Now, it's very tidy using American or Canadian quarters to break it down to two dimes and a nickel. That works well. But in your country, whatever quarter or whatever coin you have that can readily break down into two or three other coins, that'll be great. If you happen to have something that's like a 50, I don't know whether it's pesos, uh, turquoises, kalimbas, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, norets, whatever it is, rubles, pirate gold, if it can break down, then that's what you're going to do. You're going to take your 50 and break it into two quarters or take whatever coin, whatever's divisible. You could even break it down. In this case, I broke it down into two dimes and a nickel. So three coins as long as they're smaller. Now, one of the reasons why the quarter works so well though is because if I hold a quarter here and I hold a nickel here, and this works I think both in Canadian currency and US, they look almost the same. Okay, they're there. So this works very well. That's really what would be great if you can do that with the coins in your country. The setup here is I'm going to borrow the quarter. I have a nickel and I have two dimes. And I have both of these, nickels and two dimes. The two dimes are there, all stacked up. And I have them in the clip and they are almost completely in the clip. Not quite, okay? So this is the perfect size. If you start to use a bigger clip, it can work for you and it really starts to suggest, it's almost like misdirection that the other coins are in the clip, but it can be distracting. Okay, so this is really a great size, I find. So it's about twice the size of the coins there like that, okay? This is in my pocket. Now I cheated, I had a little YouTube cheat. I had this on a paper napkin off, off camera, but normally I have this just down inside my left pocket, okay? So we'll do that now, down inside my left pocket. 
all firmly in place and I have a lighter too. Now you don't have to use the glass necessarily. It can be amazing to wave the lighter underneath and have the coins shatter or break apart in somebody's hand. Particularly if you've really heated up the coins, they fall an instant blistering, scarring, and someone calls 911. And it's not just because your magic tricks be killer. <laughs> Made myself laugh there, sort of like that. Okay, you're gonna borrow a quarter. Now, you need to get rid of this quarter. And if the lighter's over here, just saying, I'm just saying, we're gonna riff this a little bit. You need to get rid of the quarter, okay? So if I have the quarter here, for example, here, okay? And I take it here. I've just done a false transfer. Though it looks, ooh, in this lighting, this afternoon light looks great. I'm doing a retention where I'm paying. Or you could even do the old French drop where you pretend they take the coin in the hand, but there's nothing there. What that does, borrow the quarter. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I borrow the quarter. Go to my pocket for the lighter. When I take the lighter out like this, I'm going to say we're going to use this in a moment, okay? Hand that to somebody, put that on the table, put that in the glass, whatever. What I've done is I've been able to transfer the coin naturally to another hand, which and then put my hand in my pocket, perfect motivation to get something, and I left the quarter behind, all right? It's gone. Then I would take this, transfer it over here, and I've done this many times with people where I'll move something, move this over here, and you might think, well, aren't you going to get caught eventually doing this? No, it's nice. As long as you believe you're transferring a coin and the motivation you saw it here, it can really add to the reality that you're holding something but when you're holding nothing, okay? Now, in performance here for this trick, what I did, and I just wanted to show you that version, is like I said, I had the uh, clipped, the two dimes and nickel clipped off to the side here. If I had them on my pocket there though, and I didn't want to necessarily use the lighter for misdirection, what I did was just this, right? Show my hands empty, took the quarter, but in fact I didn't take it. It's, I find this so natural. I'm just pretending to grab it, finger, I'm literally just pretending. And then my hands curling just a little bit as the, it, if I was standing up, yeah, I'd be about the same height on the table. He's a little man. There we go. He's like Tom Cruise without the talent or the money or the good looks or anything. He's the Baron Tom Cruise. Um, you pretend to take it. I go to my pocket, right? And I'm going to my pocket in this case to leave the quarter and come out with the, the clip, right? Now don't get uptight, whether it's facing this way, okay? Or whether it's facing this way. I take it out and you don't want to take it out like you're holding a carrot. Nobody likes things being held by carrots. Maybe briefly, but for any length of time. Okay, so I come out here, whichever way it's faced, then I take the core, and here's, the, this is what's great about this, no skill, just acting. They think the core is here, I take it, and I'm gonna put, put it, pretend to put, fit it in there, and it looks like I'm uh, opening the clip in order to get it in, but I'm actually getting the clip so I can pull these coins a little further out, all right? But it looks, since they convinced there's a quarter here, it looks like I'm just taking it and putting the coin uh, inside when in fact I'm making sure the stack. Now, if I ask the spectator, and even with the U.S. nickel quarter similarity of the Canadian, someone's going to spot something if you're too um, flagrant with it. So what I do is I put it in, and then just like, show my hands, and I give them little flashes. They see it here. Then when I'm getting the light in my pocket, I conveniently tip this down. Now, if you watch my performance again, and you really have to, I mean, please, for your Oscars consideration, um, you tilt it. So it's giving them little flashes and tiltings. Okay, here it goes, it'll flash, just so they can see there's a coin in there, when in fact I have three coins in there. Okay, no one's gonna, and if there's people all around you, stick it closer to your chest, okay? People will think, what's he doing? I think he might be trying to put that on his nibble. Um, nebo. Uh, so you're like this, okay? Boom, like that. Uh, then I go for the lighter, or you borrow a lighter, which is great. And you've heard me say it before, I am so, so far ahead. People think the trick is just about to begin, that he's laid down the basics. The trick is done. You borrowed a quarter. Your hands are empty. You have a familiar item. They think the quarter's trapped inside here. You're so, so don't rush this part, okay? You don't want to rush it. Where'd my lighter go? Huh, here, here, here. It's down here, it's here. Okay, so. You know, when you're transferring, it's important that you use your eyes, your shoulders. This is, I mean, if you're not, if you're too casual with things, that's when the magic gets watered down. You want everything to be very clear. So I'm here, I've done this, got my lighter. Now you can have someone cup their hands or their glass, and this is so dramatic. And this is the part where you want to plant a time lapse. Because if I do it all too quickly, someone might start wondering about my pockets. You want, at this point, to really take your time so people basically forget you ever went anywhere near your pockets. Right? So I'm here like this. 
this. I'm gonna heat this up here like this, wave it. And it makes sense since I'm gonna heat up the whole coin. Sure, you could do it like this and keep it moving. Okay, keep it moving so nobody notices. But again, I give them a flash and then I'm here like this as I basically be heating up the bottom of the coin. But again, you gotta make sure if there's people nearby, this needs to be closer to you. You can even use your, notice the left hand, there's nothing to see on the left side, the right side. I can even cheat this and turn this even further into my hand like this to heat this up. Looks fair enough, okay? But nobody anywhere can see anything. Then this goes down. Then I'm over here, okay? Then I just readjust from here to here, or you could have done the whole thing, tilt it away like this, okay? This is an idea, gotta make sure I give credit where credit's due. Um, this is an idea that was originally created by Vincent Van Gogh. It's how he lost his ear. I'll shut up and get to the real part. It's credit to Richard Sanders. Richard Sanders and I came up with this original idea of the bulldog clip and the switch. <coughs> And this can work for so many things. Notice if there was a prediction folded up in here, I could show a prediction folded up, do a false transfer, come up here, pretend to put it in, and I switch predictions. Can do it with a playing card. There's so many ways just by doing a false transfer, ditching it, and coming up in here. This apparently locks it, makes it super fair beyond the magician's touch. But in fact, this is what the thing that allowed me to make the invisible switch. To finish, I've heated this up, put this down, and this glass is great. Because rather than a shallow, a, sh a flat bottom glass, round bottom means that the moment I drop this in the glass here like this, I can immediately start to do this. And people can see there is way more than just one coin in there. What the hell just happened? Hand this to somebody. You don't have to say examine it. You don't have to say, look, there are no coins in there. In handing any object to a spectator nearby, it immediately becomes an object that was examined by everybody, even if the audience has a thousand people in it. A really economical boom you hand that to somebody they're maybe going to look at it maybe not boom. but everyone knows that, that object is fair nothing suspicious okay maybe you've dropped the light off to somebody else you just like this say so hold your hands hold your hands you can even add a little bit of theatrics there let me just make sure i want to make sure it's really cooled off blowing into a big glass like this there's nothing weird about that ma'am sir them they like this and then pouring into your hands or their hands you have beautifully simply split a quarter still into 25 pieces 25 cents but now into a dime a dime and a nickel yes yes every time i do magic it puts our marvelous dog kiba to sleep having said that two quick things one remember to leave a comment down below i want you to have a chance to win spontaneous combustions very cool project all this different kinds of fire magic okay guaranteed guaranteed to inspire you to burn down your house. The other thing is uh, check out sankeymagic.com because we just revamped it from top to bottom, whole new branding, different photos, all this weird ass crap going on. So check out sankeymagic.com. Curious to think, uh, curious to hear what my fans uh, think of this revamp. Anyway, take it easy. All the best to you and your family. Okay, hope everyone's hanging in and doing well. Thank you so much for watching the video. Kiba, Kiba baby.